Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at a handheld oscilloscope. This is from Furnersi, uh, DPOX180H. In the box we have the user manual. It comes with two probes, 200 megahertz, charging cable and a 5 volt 2 amp adapter. Okay, power on. Boots up very quick. Nice, clear, bright screen. Okay, so my multimeter here, it does have a output, square wave output of, uh, I think it's one kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, I'm not sure. Never actually measured it. Okay, so it has picked up some sort of a wave, auto. And there we go. It's a square wave, one kilohertz. So you just remove the spring tip from the top of the probe, five volt, three volt coil. So if we put the probe on one of the gates on the on the MOSFET, and there we go, we get a pretty clean signal of that VRM, five volt. Yeah, that's perfect. An oscillating crystal. Let's have a look. So this. Uh, oscilloscope is rated up to 180 megahertz and according to other reviews I've watched on YouTube it does uh, get up to that we have a nice signal there 25 megahertz okay let's test the PWM signal output to the cooling fan and there we do we have a square wave of 26 kilohertz and there we go the signal is changing as the speed of the fan ramps up Okay, so we have another 25 megahertz crystal. And there we go, 32.78 kilohertz. So that's our, that's our clock. Okay, plugging in the power. And there you go, there was a waveform there. So there was a bit of communication between most probably the SMC and the BIOS chip. Okay, so this device also comes with the signal generator. So pressing the left and right, we can go through the different waves. So there seems to be quite a choice of different signals. So adding this little two channel scope to my arsenal, it's going to help me out diagnostics, being able to measure a waveform. Thanks for watching. Remember there's always a fix. We'll see you in the next one.